So 209 are in these classrooms? Yeah. Just these three? Yeah. 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 It's not that others are. The deal is, you know, I told y'all in the beginning, you remember us talking about the fact that Mocha Club didn't have any projects yet in Ethiopia until we had moved here, you know? Mm -hmm. um, and and um, so what we did is, I was actually coming down here with Rachel to look at some orphanages that we could adopt with. And that's when I ran into Darab the first time. And I came down here with somebody else, and all of a sudden we came to the Kalihewa Church just for the heck of it. There was really no purpose, you know? And then all of a sudden I, I meet Darab, and, and, you know, it was obvious to see that there was something special about the dog, you know? So we just started talking, I was like, what's that going on over there, that piece of construction? And they had started building a school that they couldn't finish. They didn't have the money to. So I was like, well, send me a proposal. Because one of the things that we like to do with Mecca Club is we like to start small. It's it's not only intelligent, but it's biblical. Mm -hmm. You know, you give you give them a little bit to start with, see how they handle that. And then from there, for example, we could go into the street children ministry, which is about somewhere between one billion to four billion times more complicated than building a school. You know what I'm saying? So it's easy to build a school. So we see how they handle the money. We see if they steward it well. We see if they've got check checkpoints in place. You know, they we even, you know, they contractually they have to have a separate bank account with three signatures and there's all these little things I'll tell you about later that are interesting of how strategic it all is. It's not just, hey go build a school, yeah. So there's fifty kids in each of these classrooms, Jerry Robinson. So you know, it's not that that's the worst thing in the world, but it's also not conducive. And, you know, there's really interesting philosophies out there. Paul Farmer is a medical anthropologist that um, you should read some of his books. They're amazing. I'll recommend some of them to you later. But he just talks about how most charity work is, mm, I don't want to use the word condescending, but that a lot of the times it's like appropriate. It's what's appropriate for them. And it usually ends up meaning things like this that aren't conducive to learning. Children can't concentrate. Different children's needs aren't met. If anybody, is anybody here a teacher from the United States? Okay, so you're a teacher. Yeah. Professionally, right? Or you're trying to be a teacher. So, you know, learning is complicated. Like, do you, I mean, it's, I don't remember school at all. And partially that is damaged memory college years and part of it was have a bad memory in the first place. But um, pre pre new life. Pre believing. So um, anyways, it's complicated and so one of the things that children have to have is more rooms, more places they can split off and so in the future they'll be able to use these rooms for different things like special learning and stuff like that. You know, special learning. Is that even the right way to say it? Children that have special needs. Exceptional learning. Yeah. So, um, so now I'm going to go show you what $30,000 is going to do. Um, it's, it's mainly right now, uh, you can see it's overgrown, and that's because they haven't worked on it for a long time. Um, they ran out of money, $950. And what they are going to do is... Um, it's also going to be a construction that lasts. You notice that it's concrete. That's like mud and covering and smattering and stuff like that. So this is going to be a pretty established um, piece of machinery. So it'll be fun to see pictures of this when it's done, you know? And we'll send you all those pictures. And it'll be on the moon. But we think we're, right now we're purchasing materials and stuff up in Addis. Um, it's just an interesting conversation we'll have later about why it creates confusion and challenges to buy items here. Zorbin! No! No Zorbin! Chicken yellow. Um, so that's it.
One, two, three, four, five. So right now they've got, Derek was saying they've got KG, one, two, and three. So those three become four next year and they need another classroom. <laughs> It's not that others are But this one I know for sure You're touched to This moment is you. 